Hello everybody, it's Amanda Gore from The Joy Project and I'm with Jeff Bullis, guru of social media marketing. And uh, who, uh, Jeff at jeffbullis.com has a blog that's read by 100,000 people a month and he ranks in the top 50 uh, social marketing blogs, blogs in the world. Mm -hmm. So he's going to talk to us today about getting content onto the web and getting the message out to everybody. So over to you, Jeff. Yeah, the challenge for most people is with 200 million websites in the world is actually breaking through the clutter and all that noise. So, yeah. And it can be done uh, by some persistent effort. But where you really need to start is by having a blog or a website. Now, a blog is a great place. It's actually a good name to give. It is like your own home base. Yeah, yeah. And that's where you start publishing your content. So you publish your content, whether it's video, whether it's text, whether it's audio, podcasts, images. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of audios and podcasts. I've heard of vlogs. Now, vlog is a video blog. That's Most correct, of you yes. probably know that, anyway. Yeah. So if you're comfortable in front of a camera, you can do a video blog. Some uh, people like Gary Vaynerchuk have actually done very well at it, video blogging. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, even in real estate, uh, a variety of industries are using video blogging very successfully. So you can have your blog. But what you need to do is you need to get that content out onto mm -hmm. what I call the outposts. And they are the social media outposts and channels that people know as Facebook, Twitter and YouTube, for example. Uh, right. Yeah. And would they be the three main ones? They're the three major ones. There are other social media channels such as Flickr for images and so on, but uh, they're the ones with the biggest numbers. Facebook, 650 million. Twitter with 220 million. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one actually linked in with 100 million. And YouTube with... Uh, well over 30 billion video views a month. 30 billion? Yes. Wow. It's a good thing I do vlogs. And, and you can get yeah. your own YouTube channel, can't you? You can. Because so. I've got Amanda Gore TV. And what's yours, Jeff? Uh, JeffBullis.com. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. and that's that's a YouTube channel? channel? That's right. Yeah. Well, oh. Jeff Bullis, actually. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, what you do is you publish on your home base, but mm -hmm. what you then do is distribute it out onto the other channels. So treat those outposts, your social media channels, as your outposts where your ambassadors or fans or followers can actually share it with their followers or fans mm -hmm. or friends. So what you're doing is, again, it's this one-to-many relationship to get your ideas to spread. So you've got to write something that's valuable, obviously. Like, don't yeah. write what we had for lunch and what we had for breakfast, because Really, not many people are interested in that. So if you've got something of value... That's worth you, sharing. Yeah, yes. Yep. You write your blog. And and I know for us, with the Joy Project, we've got a blog and we do vlogs, video blogs. Um, I don't think we've done podcasts and audio casts yet. We haven't thought about that. But it was very valuable listening to you on how we could get our messages out in a systematic way to Facebook and yep. YouTube and um, Twitter. Yep. And would you share one of those mediums with us? Pick, pick any one of them and how we can, or, or can we, is there a way we can get, we can click a few buttons and the message goes everywhere? Uh, you can automate some of it. Uh, others, you need to keep it real. You need to be engaged with the audience. So that's where you, your real influence, whether it's on Twitter, uh, gets powerful. People that really believe in you mm. are the ones that are going to spread your your message or your brand. Mm. So what you could do, for example, we've talked about Twitter, so maybe we talk about Facebook. Well, somebody might not have seen the one on Twitter, although you could go look for it. So could we just summarise for them on um, Twitter what we could do? Yes, yeah, so what you can do on Twitter is if you have uh, 1,000 Twitter followers and you send out a headline saying 10 ways to find happiness, right. Okay, such as the Joy Project would be, I'm sure, happy to promote. Uh, what that means is that you have a catchy headline yeah. and then you would have a link after that where people can click and find out and read more about that. So you've got to get them to read the blog first or go to the website right. and the way you do that is by writing a great headline and I can't stress how important that really is, is writing that great oh, headline. No. You know, it's really challenging to find, find a, a great short headline, especially in Twitter, it's like 148 characters. And you were saying something about if you put the at sign at the end, what does that mean? That Do means it goes out to all of Twitter rather than just to the person. So, so if we put at Jeff Bullis or at uh, the Joy Project, that would mean... You still get it pointed to you, but it still goes out to the general you know, Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh, universe, rather than yeah. putting that at the front. Which only goes people... to the person that shares it plus the person you sent it to. Oh, yes. See, they're tiny things, but they actually make a huge difference. I wouldn't have known that. And of course, I'm a dodo with it when it comes to those sorts of things, but perhaps that will help you. And what about Facebook and YouTube? Uh, Facebook's uh, the best way to get your content to be shared on Facebook is get people to like your Facebook page. 
So you can actually put a plug-in into your WordPress blog on the right panel or wherever you like on uh, it. Let's make this basic for people. Uh, right. A plug-in meaning a button. So you can get a button. Yeah, or, a, ba or a banner. It's a Facebook banner, if you like, and it's got a like button on it. Okay. And you can click on that. In fact, you can like it, a, a brand or a personal brand's Facebook page from within their website even. You don't have to go to the Facebook page. So if I go to your website or yeah. somebody goes to thejoyproject.com yeah. and they see the blue Facebook button, I yeah. think it's blue, isn't it? Yes, um, and they a little, just, little, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and they just Facebook click on share, it. Facebook yeah. share, It means that, that, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, it means then that they've shared it with their friends. Oh. So it, two clicks, actually you've shared it, that person shared it with their Facebook uh, friends. It means then that will appear in in those friends' updates or news items oh, in the feed. Okay. So if they share it with their friends, they've got 300 friends, potentially 300 people will view that interesting bit of information that has been shared. Oh, great. Mm. And YouTube, I assume, is very similar. Uh, YouTube, you can share on, it's actually buttons on YouTube to share on Facebook and it can do it, share it on Twitter easily enough as well. Yeah. So Facebook. Uh, not sorry, YouTube is a great place to be because, especially if you're talking to Gen Y audience, uh, because Gen Y would rather watch a two minute video. Uh, in fact, they must really chew their arm off rather than watch a, <laughs> read a paragraph yeah. of text. Yeah, they probably yeah. wouldn't, particularly as yeah. most people's blogs aren't that exciting. You know? yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So, is there any other like um, last minute hip great tip that we need to? Because I, I understand now if we have the blog as the hub, so. And, and the other question I had is, you know, lots of people try to design a website, but uh, how do you make, when do you, how do you make the decision to make either the blog, the first page, like the landing page, or the website and your blog's down the side, that sort of thing. Is there any law there? there there's no rule here. If you actually want to engage people and have comments and receive them, uh, blogs can look like websites, websites can look like blogs. Oh, yeah. So it really doesn't matter what you're doing, is you're, you're creating what I call a social web environment for people to actually engage with you in a two-way conversation rather than a static website that doesn't allow anyone to interact with you. And above all, it has to be interesting. Absolutely. So you need to make it snack size for people are time poor, right. so you need to provide interesting information in snack size. size. Yep. Oh, wow. You sure know how to do it with all those followers. So thanks very much for your time today. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Especially you Gen Wires. Bye.